Hey guys, okay, uh, this is going to be a general reading for Gemini, and it's going to be for this upcoming week, and um, I had a couple of people ask me to show me, uh, to show them, shuffling the cards and laying them out so that they know that those are the cards for them, and so I will go ahead and do that. I didn't before because I figured it was kind of, actually, let me start off with the spirit of the oracle here, uh, oracle card first. And I didn't because sometimes it takes more time, you know, depending on how long I feel like shuffling. And then um, sometimes it's loud in the microphone. And I can get particular, and you know, and like the way it's laid out, and just usually more time. But I'm going to start doing it. It does make sense, I understand. Okay, so we start off here with, and it, actually, um, if you guys don't mind subscribing, I would really appreciate that, and uh, if you want to give a like and a comment, that'd be cool. So, the dog, and it's a friend. And it says, today I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and friend. Okay. Nice. Okay. So again, this will be just general reading for you guys, Gemini, for this upcoming week. Okay, I'm going to start off here with a little stress and anxiety, it looks like. Start. If you guys would rather see a quicker version of this, I got on TikTok just a week ago, and the videos are obviously, you know, shorter, so if you don't want to see this, a little bit longer one here, you can go to the TikTok, same name, Napalm Pei, and watch a shortened version. And a little particular here, I like the cards to be lined up nicely, and that could be irritating to watch. <laughs> okay. So far we have air signs, water signs, and earth signs, and fire signs now, all represented. Okay, and the two signs that like I said, all the signs are represented, but the two signs that are standing out is uh, Leo and Scorpio. So some of you are dealing with a Leo and some with a Scorpio and then others with others. <laughs> okay. Let's look at this here. You have a couple threes here. And the number three is about um, like celebrating in groups and love. Okay, start off here, like I said, with a little stress and anxiety with the Nine of Swords here. You're going to have some stress and anxiety, and it could be uh, leading to some sleepless nights. So a lot of it is uh, some fears, you know, that you have that are unfound. So if you can just try to refocus your thoughts here. I know it's easier said than done, isn't it? But... This is suggesting that you try to do that. The Eight of Cups is next. And with this card here, it's about uh, the need to move on. It's saying to walk away. You know, it could be something disappointing. And if there's something that you're either trying to do or something you're involved in that just brings disappointment, then walk away from it. And the card could also represent uh, maybe feeling a little abandoned, but just try to move on from whatever that situation is. It can also represent travel. So, so if you're not, you know, feeling abandoned or if any of that that I mentioned, then it's possible you could travel. Knight of Pentacles is next, and. This card is about stability and security, and it's progress, and uh, 
can be good luck with money or career. could also say that something finally comes through. So if there's something you've been waiting on, it shows that something comes through finally. Next is the Two of Cups. Excuse me, Two of Pentacles. And this is showing that maybe you could be juggling resources or possibly working too hard. Whether you could be juggling school and work or, you know, work and home life. But it's uh, calling for a little balance here. Saying, have you know, find some balance and try to have a little fun. And next is the Knight of Wands. And this card represents, uh, looks like you've been, you could be passionate about something and energetic. And uh, it can also be a little hasty. But it also represents events that require immediate action. So maybe there's a decision you need to make about something. Next we have strength. And with this card it's showing that you have uh, the inner strength and you have courage and compassion. And also about forgiveness. So you, you could have compassion and forgiveness here for others. And if there's something you need to forgive, it's suggesting that you do so. You have no strength to do it. Next is the death card. And do not be alarmed if this does not mean like the act, an actual death. But it's about endings. So something is going to end here, but that's just going to lead to new beginnings. And this card here is showing, uh, like, a walk away from something for a new beginning also with the Eight of Cups. You know, it's the need to move on. And this card saying something ends in new beginnings. So it's a card about renewal and change and transformation. And, you know, it says let go of what no longer serves you. Next is a Three of Wands. And this card is saying that you may have uh, already done the successful first steps of something. So it's like initial success. And it says to keep on planning. Keep going, keep planning. And next is the Three of Pentacles. I like this card um, it, because it's about being recognized for your talents, you know, or your work. And it's also being paid well for your craft. So it shows you have a lot of skill. And also um, an excellent reputation. So if you don't have one right now, you will. So that's very positive there. And I am going to pull one more card, as I usually do. Okay, this is a Seven of Swords. So with the Seven of Swords here, this card um, is a, some, something around you or something, looks like it could be just a little dishonesty. Whether this is you, I, because I, it's also, it also could say you have embarrassing secrets. So maybe it's not about being dishonest necessarily, but maybe it's about keeping secrets. But uh, if that's not you and if it's somebody that you're dealing with, just, just be aware. That's all. All right, you guys. Um, again, if you don't mind subscribing to my channel, I would really appreciate that. And um, if you like the video, if you can give it a like and any comments are welcome. Alright, Gemini, thanks a lot.